Cabin Stew, uh, Elk Steak Diane, and Venison Wellington. And menus aboard Coast Guard cutters may never be the same again, if FS2 Kathleen Heitman has her way. The culinary school graduate has graced the men and women of the Coast Guard Cutter Hamilton with her talents. I've served on three different Coast Guard cutters and countless other Navy ships and past tours and the food on the Hamilton is the best by far that I've ever experienced in uh, 16 years of active duty in the Coast Guard. I do have the privilege of having served in the military over 30 years so I have several galleys to compare to and the one on the Hamilton is the f uh, best by far. Well, for, I started off as a duty cook and um, I've been filling in as a galley supervisor, so I pretty much oversee all the products that go out and um, oversee the mess cooks. We have about five mess cooks in port that I oversee and about nine duty cooks that I oversee. FS2 Heitman's talents are obvious with every bite, but her personal effect on the crew is immeasurable. FS2 Heitman is uh, an outstanding leader and an outstanding sailor as well as a uh, uh, food personnel and her enthusiasm is infectious to those around her. She just she pours her heart and soul into the food and it, and it is just really really good every time. I, I can't say her her baking you can tell when she's decided to, to go in and, and bake a cake and do something special for the crew, which she'll do, she'll do just, just completely on, on her own volition and uh, uh, bake and decorate a cake, uh, you know, just for a bunch of crew members' birthdays and uh, the, the cakes are top notch. While preparing quality food is always challenging, working at such a high level aboard a Coast Guard cutter is even harder. Meeting the demands of the crew and the schedule are one of the many challenges faced by Heitman. The greatest challenges that I've found doing my job um, is probably underway when you start to run out of fresh produce and you start to run out of just about everything and you have to come up with these with meals for the crew and the morale is their, is their food. So you have to be able to continuously put out high quality um, products with basically nothing. Uh, you're out at sea for you know 24 hours, seven days a week and one of the main things you have to look forward to is the good food that you get. So it's very important. Time constraints are one of the biggest things that FSs face on board a cutter. Uh, sometimes we're running drills and we have about 45 mi minutes to put out the next meal. So it's definitely a challenge getting everybody on the same page, knowing what has to be done and being able to work together as a team to get it done. Yeah, high quality food service is critical to the morale of the crew. They, uh, the crew works 24 hours, seven days a week and we're on, underway on patrol and uh, if, if the food is good, uh, it, just, it just makes everyone else's job easier. Um, we also start doing a lot of themed nights underway, like uh, truck stop night, you know, Japanese night, and the crew really likes that sort of stuff, you know, when, when they get to have fresh made sushi, everything like that underway. FS2 Heitman has gone above and beyond in the galley of the Hamilton, but her attitude and exuberance are felt far beyond the cutter. Yeah, she also does a lot of stuff off the ship. Uh, she is probably one of the most uh, involved people uh, with respect to uh, charitable organizations, soup kitchens, uh, community service events, uh, not only here in San Diego, but also when we're in foreign ports. And, and, and she's, she's definitely a leader among the crew with that respect. I think for the Coast Guard as a whole, um, being able to get our guys out there and you know do good deeds, that is great for the Coast Guard. It's great publicity for the Coast Guard. You know, we're, we're, we go out and we save people's lives out on the ocean, and then we also come back into home port and we have a huge impact on them as well. FS2 Heitman's impact on her shipmates in her community have been numerous, and she is most deserving of the Admiral James S. Gracie Award. A lot of people did ask me, you know, you already went to college, why did you join? I think it was probably the best choice that I could have made because I was able to take what I love to do and the experience that I have doing it and be able to affect a lot of people in the Coast Guard by, you know, being able to provide them, you know, really good meals. So I think it was probably the best decision I've, in, in my life that I've made. Please welcome tonight's awardee for the Admiral James S. Gracie Award for Professional Excellence, FS2, Kathleen Heitman from the Coast Guard Cutter Hamilton.